it takes an amazing amount of guts to step up here. And the anxiety when you hit the stage for the first time, first thing, you're blinded. And then you got to get through that and keep going and get all the way to the far side of this. And it's amazingly difficult. And I found out from one of our, our, our regulars here, Kelly Nigren, that she, she found a poet who had written something on this very topic. And I said, we must have that. Then I read it and said, we must have that. And then during sound check, I saw who was presenting it, and I said, we must have Carrie Sumner. Many monsters in my time. Quiet warrior, they called me in my prime. Some of them tiny, some of them tall, but there's one I will remember most of all. He was the sneakiest monster I've ever known. His presence could chill you down to the bone. I thought I could beat him just like the others, and so I gathered a band of my brothers, and we marched together through the mountains and the snow. My army and I, we trudged along to face our unfortunate foe. And when we arrived, I puffed up my chest out loud and shouted, My army is here, and we're going to take you strong and proud. Except in this case, I was unfortunately wrong. For I turned around and saw that my army was long gone. And on that day, I learned one thing will always be true. Never bring an army to fight a monster meant for you. And so I turned back to him to fight him all alone and tried to look him in the eyes, half hoping I would turn to stone. He was more than ready for me, and I, as ready as I'd ever be, tried every fighting move I knew. And we wrestled, we wrestled, we thrashed, we stashed, we stabbed, we jabbed, we scowled and disemboweled. We danced this wretched merengue to the bottom of the valley, but my every blow was countered, and I could no longer rally up the strength to fight. And it was much too late for flight. And so at last he knocked me down and out, and there I stayed. And in my darkest hour, all I could do was pray. Enticed I was by dreams of giving in and lying there to die. And then I heard a voice from a spirit in the sky. The voice spoke to me so softly I could barely hear. This monster is unique. He won't surrender to your spear. You'll have to outsmart this one, for his strength over you is fear. And in that moment, I snapped back into myself, abruptly sought. This battle I will have to win has yet to be fought. With all my strength, I rose up slowly and looked him in the eyes. And almost without thinking, I threw my shield aside. As my heart was racing faster than I wanted to allow, he roared, you fool, you have no chance to beat me now. With that, I gave a small smile and cast my sword aside as well. And he bellowed, have you any last words before you reach the gates of hell? I planted my feet firmly in the earth and rose anew. And I took a deep breath and shouted, I'm not afraid of you. At this, he just laughed louder and took a step towards me, and then he stopped so suddenly, we were both surprised. I could not believe my eyes. Up there rose from the earth to the sky a billow of smoke around him, and I began to see I didn't need an army to surround him. I'm not afraid of you, I said with more confidence this time, and he visibly got weaker, no longer at his prime. He began to look worried, but I knew I had to hurry. I kept yelling my proclamation, and I felt myself grow stronger until the moment I knew I couldn't wait any longer, and finally I shouted, I grow weary of this fight, and as I am winning, I think I should have the right. The second truth I've learned today is that I created you, and at any time I like, I can destroy you too. Away, flee, disappear, and leave me to my life. And then the glorious end to my long day of strife. The smoke started swirling, and he disappeared with one last cry. And then the storm clouds parted, and the sun came out in the sky. And so I took my first free stride. These battle scars I shall wear with pride. If pride be a sin, then I'll be a sinner. But I fight to win, so I'll be a winner. Into that setting sun I shall go. But one last secret that I know, 
is though the monster is defeated, he's not altogether gone. And he is not the only one or the last one I will see. They're always after me. But I don't mind. As long as I've got a life to live, I will keep up this fight with all the strength I've got to give. The time has come when I must confess a quiet warrior is a warrior nonetheless. As long as I've got one more day, I will keep on keeping monsters at bay. As for now, this quiet warrior will be on her way. <laughs>